Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince and today we are collaborating with Curls Queen. <laughs> I love Curls Queen so much. I love their hair. Curls Queen has some of the best quality hair that I have ever tried. Okay, period. Hair is full from the ruta to the tuta. Okay, from the root to the tip. I love Curls Queen down. Anytime they ask me if I want to collaborate with them, I say yes. You know why? Because I'm collecting that hair like infinity stones. The hair is so good. I love Curls Queen. If you follow me on like Instagram, you know when my hair is not braiding, I'm popping in my Curls Queen clippings. If I want a cute style, my straight one my curly ones I'm popping them in okay love curls queen I could go on and on about curls queen okay but today we are doing the flip over sew-in method and I'm going to show you guys how I did that okay so if you want to see how I did my hair then go ahead and please keep watching okay so let's get into these hair specifics okay so this is the box that comes with curls queen it's just always so cute and beautiful they always send over goodies with their hair okay get a little bonnet get a little brush so for the hair texture i went with the 3b 3c water kinky curly hair at 300 grams which is equivalent to two bundles okay so one bundle is 150 grams or 5.3 ounces two bundles are 300 grams and that equals to about three to four bundles in the current market okay so 300 grams aka two bundles is more than enough hair to finish a full head i actually had some hair left over so I did go ahead and wash my hair. I washed my hair with a clarifying shampoo and a hydrating shampoo. You can see here that the hair has elongated. After you wash the hair, the curls are going to drop and you're gonna see more of the true natural state of the hair, which is extremely beautiful. Okay, so this is just what my braid down looks like. I went ahead and made sure I added some horizontal braids going across the top. And then for the rest, I just braided them straight back and then crocheted them down in the back onto each other. Braid your hair in a way that works best for you. Okay, so to get started on the actual sew in, I am going to be using a net today. Now, I found this net deep down in the pits of my hair storage, okay? It's old, it's cut up, so I'm going to make it work for me. I'm going to use these small clips to clip the net onto my braid so that it doesn't move while I attempt to sew it down, okay? If you want to use a net, I recommend you finding one with small holes. This one has a little bit of stretch to it, but the smaller holes will give you more space to sew your tracks down on and I just feel like the smaller nets are more secure so I'm just going to go ahead and sew the net onto my horizontal braids and I'm going to sew the net down all around the perimeter of my head so that the net is secure okay so for this first bundle of hair I'm going to take the track fold it in half and then cut it and then i'm going to use half of that bundle to start the install in the back of my head so after i cut the hair in half then i'm going to fold the hair in half and so the first portion of my bundle in folded okay so what i like to do is take my needle stick it through the weft and that's how i start my first bundle then I like to just go ahead and sew under the weft when I'm sewing the hair onto my head. I don't go through the weft. I just sew under the weft, if that makes sense, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this first portion of the bundle in and fold it as I go along until I finish up the weft. 
when it's time for me to fold my bundles, I just use those little clips again to help me keep my bundles in place so that it doesn't move when I sew it down. And when I get to that folded part, once I'm actually on the section where I'm folding it, I hold it down and I sew that part down in the same spot about three to four times just to secure it so that my track doesn't slip once I start to sew along the length of the rest of the track. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I finish sewing in that first portion. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next part. So I'm only going to take a single track for this part and I'm going to start to line my tracks up going up in a U shape along my braid in the front. Now this is what you call sewing the track under the braid. You're going to want to place the track along the part line that's right in front of your braid and you're going to do your best to keep it in that part line. You don't want the track sitting on top of your braid okay this is gonna help for when you pull your hair back it's gonna hide the actual braid that's the point of sewing the track under the braid okay that's gonna help with the invisible look all right but this is what that track looked like after I installed it next I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that method and I'm just gonna add a track in higher up I could have put the first track in higher up but I was like you know as I went along I was just like doing what best work for me okay so this is what that next track looks like and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start to fold this track as well fold it over sew it across and that's what it'll look like once I finish that track that would complete my first bundle okay so that is my first bundle installed then next i'm going to go ahead and start adding in single tracks from the second bundle so this is what it looks like after i just started to add the tracks in track by track i went across and then eventually got into this u-shaped pattern to set my tracks close enough to those first two braids so i can do the invisible method okay So to do the flip over part, I'm going to go ahead and measure small tracks to fill in this gap. I cut it and then I'm going to sew it in. So since I use the net, I can go ahead and sew these tracks in really securely. And I'm just going to, you know, stitch really close together and use my hands to hold that track in place so it doesn't slide. Okay, you want these to be going across horizontal so that it hides the braid in the front. Okay, so you're just going to go ahead and continue to measure and cut small pieces to close up the gap and you want them sitting relatively close to each other that way you won't see the braid okay So to close the flip over method, I go ahead and cut a small piece, but I'm basically going to make a little U, okay? So I sew down the first track just like I did the previous one, but then once I come across the front, I go ahead and sew it under the braid and then turn the track and then sew the other piece going in the other direction. Basically, I'm just making a little circle or I'm folding it so that it makes a sandwich, okay? Sew those two together and that is how I close off my flip over method. To end each track, I do go ahead and cut the thread and tie it off about two to three times and then I cut it again, okay? If that sounds confusing, you know, watch this without my voice and you can just see what I'm doing, okay? But that is how I close and finish my flip over method. Oh my God, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, it's time for the styling portion. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my water. I'm gonna use my unbrush. And for my stylers, I'm gonna use this part of my Fro Curl Enhancing Cream. And then I'm gonna go in with my Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol Mousse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet down this section, okay? So I'm not gonna like overly saturate it, but I'm gonna saturate it enough to where it's workable for me. And then instead of using the brush first, I go ahead and start to finger detangle okay then I'm gonna take just a small amount of cream I don't want too much product I don't want it to be like too heavy or too sticky looking 
take the cream, do some more finger detangling, and then I'm gonna take my unbrush and then gently begin to brush through the section. After that, I'm gonna take about one to two pumps of foam and smooth that through my hair, okay? So to style my hair, I worked in like six big sections, okay? So this is one of the six sections. And as I went through each section, I decided to go ahead and put some finger coils on the ends of like two portions of each section. So to do the finger coils, I just wrap the end of the hair around my finger and gently slide it off and that creates a coil. I did two portions of each section like that and then the rest of the hair in that section, I just left it in its natural state and kind of scrunched it up a bit, okay? So I did that to just give a little variety and texture once my hair dried. It is time to move on to my natural hair, okay? So I am just using the same products that I use on the install, but now I'm using those products on my natural hair and I'm actually gonna add in this wet line extreme gel because I need a little bit more hold to my natural hair to define the curls. Now, after that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of gel and just smooth it in the front to push my hair going back. To actually blend my hair with the Curls Queen hair, I'm gonna take a small piece of my natural hair, a small piece of the weft hair, wrap it around my finger just like I did the little finger coils at the end and then that is how I'm going to let it dry okay I'm not going to touch it and then I just take a clip and place it on my hair to keep the hair going in the direction that I want it to okay next I'm going to go ahead and take this diffuser and just do a little bit of blow drying along my hair I had a lot of stuff to do this day so I really just used the diffuser to first start to initiate the drying process and then I let my hair dry throughout the day I did go ahead and place a wrap strip on the front of my head to further push my hair in the direction I wanted to go after my hair is dry I go ahead and start to do the separation process and just pull the curls apart take my wide tooth comb and fluff my hair at the root and throughout the length of my hair after that <laughs> i went ahead and cut you know a little bit of layers i didn't want to chop this hair up too much because i do want to reinstall it and probably turn it into like a wig or something that i could just always sew down because i just love this hair so much and I knew from the beginning, I didn't wanna chop it up, but I had to add some layers, okay? So that will complete how I did my hair, period. <laughs> okay, so let's get into like some maintenance or whatever really quick. Um, as far as how I sleep at night, I'm probably just gonna pull it all back and let it free fall into my scarf because I want my hair to like poof up and get bigger over time. This is first day hair, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. You can do twists, you can do whatever. Just make sure you care for your hair in a way that works best for you. Speaking of caring for your hair, you are going to have to detangle this hair if you a girl with kinky curly hair or some type of kink or some type of coil or some type of curl you know if your hair is loose out you got to detangle it and maintain it this is loose hair um yeah so just be mindful of that care for it how you want to care for it okay take care of this hair take care of your investment okay oh another thing is i did not use the full 300 grams of the hair i do have some hair left i'm going to insert in a little clip of how much hair I have left although I may or may not insert that into my hair because I love big hair so I might just add those tracks in even though my hair is full as heck okay I love big hair all right um yeah so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any more questions go ahead and leave your questions for me down in the comment section thank you to curls queen thank you to you guys for supporting my channel and watching this video the link for the hair will be down in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out okay i'm telling you it's worth the investment if you are interested in this hair it is a really really good quality okay thank you again if i didn't say thank you already 500 times <laughs> Thank you to Curls Queen. Thank you to you guys. And I will see you later. Bye.